Hey y'all, so this vlog is an apartment decor update. I mentioned this in the video, but I felt like my apartment, like I love my apartment, but it just didn't feel homey. It just felt like, I didn't customize the space. So in this video, I made a couple changes to make this place look a little bit better. And I really like the changes that I did, but I just wanted to really say, please interact with this video. I wanna know your thoughts, if you have any suggestions, like are there like some like decor places I should check out? like give me suggestions i really really want it and also feedback would be great obviously i ask that you be kind you guys are always kind over here but yeah so enjoy this video my apartment feels pretty bare i love my apartment but it doesn't feel homey enough like it doesn't feel customized and the main room that i want to focus on well no that's a lie i was gonna say i really want to focus on my living room but i'm also like simultaneously focusing on my bedroom but i really wanted to get some artwork for my living room and start clipping what the living room currently looks like yeah so you see it, it's bare it just it's bare one of the first things i wanted to do was get some artwork so i did commission i didn't commission i selected three pieces of artwork from etsy i saw these really pretty black and white photos of i think it was dallas that was the first one that i saw i was like oh this would be so cool if i could get one of detroit and they had one of detroit and i was like wait why don't i get three cutouts of the three places that I've lived. And technically I've lived four, four places. I did live in Alabama, I lived in Huntsville for four years, but they didn't have Huntsville. Huntsville's not a major city, so they're not gonna have Huntsville. We're gonna see what it looks like. I got 18 by 24, which is pretty big. It's not huge, but it's pretty big. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a lot more graceful and aesthetically pleasing, but it's not. One thing that I've always heard that's kind of annoying when you buy prints is that they come rolled like this, but obviously this does make the most sense for shipping. If they were to like press these out and send them in a flat box, it would probably be so much more expensive. But let me show you the pics. So this first one we have is of Atlanta. If you guys didn't know, I was born in Atlanta, lived there for a little bit, and I really do love Atlanta. I would definitely be open to moving back there one day. Okay, next up we have Detroit. I grew up in a suburb right outside of Detroit, and Detroit will always have a very special place in my heart. So yeah, I really, really like this. And then last, but certainly not least, Chicago, which is my current residence. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. I think these look really, really good. And I kind of already measured my wall. I'll show you guys. I always do like little makeshift measuring stuff. Like this is me. I am truly my grand, my grandfather's granddaughter because I have picked up a lot of his little like mechanical habits. So, okay, let me show you guys on the wall. I was trying to figure out if I, you, you can't really see it that well on camera because they are pretty small, but I was debating if I wanted to do 16 by 12, maybe 16 by 12 or if I wanted to do 18 by 24, and I thought the 18 by 24 looked a lot nicer. That is what it will look like. Um, I'm excited. I was kind of thinking about putting them in order of where I live. So Atlanta, what is it? Uh, Detroit, and then Chicago. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. While I'm up here, I did order my frames. I'm going to get my frames tomorrow. I technically could go get them today, but I just don't feel like driving to Walmart. I literally just got back like from being out of town. But I got three black frames. And y'all, I didn't know frames could be so expensive. They were trying to get me to pay $30 per frame. Don't feel pressured to like have everything be like nice in your apartment. Like this is my first apartment. And all honesty, I don't know if I'll actually keep these pictures for the rest of my life. I may end up selling them. $30 for a picture frame is very expensive. And it's 30 each. So I needed three, that means it will be $90 way too much so i definitely did spend some money with these prints but y'all i got seven dollar frames from walmart and i think they'll look totally fine i really did want floating frames but floating frames are like non-existent in the 18 by 24 size so i give up oh and another thing that i need to figure out is how i'm going to hang up the picture frames the good thing is I have some options right now that don't require me to spend money. If you guys remember in the video where I was putting up my mirror, I do have these claws. I'll show you guys. These are claws. Basically, you push them into your wall and they'll be like this and then you hang whatever you want from there. I could do this or I could use good old fashioned picture hanging strips from command strips. I'm kind of leaning towards this because I really want to avoid putting holes in this wall. 
because what if I ended up hating the pictures and want to take them down? You know, with these, it should be a pretty easy fix. So my goal is to use these, but I have not always been successful when it comes to command strip. So we will see. I don't know if you notice this, but these are all like vintage pictures of the cities at first i was gonna go with the current one like the current skyline but one of them it was off so i decided to go with the vintage vibe i think my favorite just out of the pictures this is the chicago one because i love like the theater you know i love the theater anyway but yeah that's what it's looking like y'all can't wait to show you guys me trying to figure out how to put them on the wall tomorrow I told you guys that the little stickers were so I could figure out if I wanted a 16 by 20 or 18 by 24. And I ultimately decided to go with 18 by 24. Well, we have an exciting update. The frames have come in. I told y'all I got the Walmart poster frames and I really don't care. Like that is the frame. I have three of them. What, oh, I was about to say, what is this? My shoes have been shedding and leave the weirdest stuff all over my apartment. Anyway, that is going to go up there. Ever since I was little, I knew what I wanted. I used to see it, used to want it, then I got it. Yeah, yeah. You got me sweating a little. Playing hard to get, got me singing your favorite song. Is it working in my clothes? Guys, I'm loving it. It looks so nice. Never thought, never thought, never thought I would still hold on. After all that's been said and done, done I go around and I go around and I go around I go around I'm always out, I am always out, I am always out I'm always out I keep running so I don't have to go With the fact that I think about you so besties it has been about an hour which means it is time to hang up the first painting or picture the detroit one you making me play this game what does your heart say is it still beating strong or did you replace me wanna forget me i'm still feeling chemistry why give me guys i feel like a proud parent i think they look so good they look leveled if I had to get really picky, I'm not feeling how, I need to erase these pencil marks off of here, but like this one's a little raised. I'm not really sure why, but that kind of bugs me, but not really that much. But yeah, I love it. I was just telling my mom my idea about my shelves and she was like, what? But I was kind of thinking like, maybe like a little black shirt, like a short, like that long black shelf right there right there and then it can maybe have some little plants or maybe some of my polaroid pictures but it's not necessary i think it feels empty right now but i think once i get my throw pillows and my throw blankets and my plants and stuff in here that'll help bring color and stuff into the living room but yeah that's what we're looking like so the next project that we're going to work on which might be today or might be tomorrow but it'll obviously be in this vlog is my nightstand i needed a nightstand and honestly because i need the storage and i need to put a lamp somewhere and later on i'll show you guys the lamps that i like but my apartment's finally coming together besties it's another day another dollar and another apartment update this one's big this one requires me to use some tools very very excited if you guys remember from other vlogs i have complained about the fact that there's no overhead lighting in my bedroom and i don't think i honestly knew that when i signed up when i applied for my apartment i think a lot of the times you assume that there is lighting in the bedroom and when i did my tour i guess i just assumed i don't know but there is no lighting and honestly that's okay with me it's not a deal breaker it didn't make me want to break my lease or anything but i have not had like real light in my bedroom in how long have i been here it's time for that to end now i've been in and out of town so it hasn't really been bothering me but when i am back home i'm like dang i want to read in my room it's like almost impossible unless i sit at my desk because i have a lamp over there anyway like i would say with every problem there's a solution so we get lamps right it was always my plan to get nice stands but it kind of just fell wayside like it wasn't my focus but now it's my focus like i need nightstands and i have a nightstand hold on one second I have 41 pounds of a nightstand. You can't really see it right now. It is too heavy for me to lift and hold, but I have a 41 pound nightstand, 
which is kind of crazy. That is 41 pounds, that's heavy. And I'm very excited to put it together. I got it off of Amazon. I will have everything linked down below from this video, but um, we're gonna put it together during the day. So I have ample light. I'm gonna use my lunch break to do this. And I think it's gonna go really, really well. We all have our flaws, right? We all know that. One of my flaws is I tend not, I lay out my pieces to make sure I have all my pieces, but I do not do well with making sure that I have all the like screws and stuff. And unfortunately, I am missing one screw. But the good thing is I can still set this up and if slash when they send me the replacement piece, I can easily take this off. It's just literally the top of the drawer but it's just kind of annoying. But thankfully it's this piece and not like another piece because I would be kind of annoyed if this just had to sit around for a week, but I'll be able to put everything up. It'll just be missing one screw, but this is the fun of building things on your own. I'm so proud of myself though. I love it when I do stuff like this. I, I get like a, a high off of it, but this is no joke y'all, my hands. I'm happy that I ordered them separately because I'm an overachiever. I would want to do both in one day, but I will be miserable. I'm probably going to be sore because I'm like bending all over and my hands are just working hard. But I need to hurry up. I want to do this for about another 15 minutes and I think I should be almost finished. I when I see you, I feel my the shelf is built. There's a little like sawdust on it. I don't really care about that. It looks so good. It is so big. It is so much bigger than I thought. And the shelves, I want to get some contact paper to go in here. But I think this looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. But okay, now I need to clear out space in my room so we can put this in there. So I'll show you guys what the space looks like empty. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I actually put the nightstand in there. Okay, my bad. I forgot to show you guys the room before I got in here. But ignore my bed. We have some work to do. We have some steaming pillows like... This is just currently, but this is what, I'm a pretty big room actually. So yeah, one nightstand is gonna go over here and one is gonna go over there. Fun fact, I have to move my bed over, but my bed is too heavy. Like me and my mom literally could not move it. So right now, for now, I'm just gonna leave it where it is. Um, I might try to move it myself, but if me and my mom couldn't move it, there's no way I can move it by myself. Um, I may have to wait till my boyfriend comes into town and then invite him and maybe one of my friends over to move it, but I tried and I don't think it's gonna work. So now that I think about it, I think even this space over here is too small. Even when my cello won't be there, I don't think it'll fit. <sighs> that, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But for now, we're, go we're gonna be, what is the opposite of asymmetrical? Non-symmetrical, I don't know what exactly that word is, but we're gonna look a little weird for a little bit until I can get my boyfriend up here to help me. This is the beginning of a beautiful bedroom. Right now it looks kind of crazy. Right now it looks like I need to do laundry, but I like the nice sand. It's so big. So I definitely think when I get the next one, oh, by the way, I did move my bed over. I was able to move it. I just had to like get on the floor and like use my butt and back to push it, but I did move it over. So that should be just, just enough space. I may, I probably will have to move my cello, but that will be where it'll go. And then we're gonna have two um, lamp shades over it. And I'm actually gonna show you guys the lamp shades right now. And do not like, I, I do not like the, what are these called, knobs? I think they're okay. They, I just don't like them for my room. So either I'm gonna go with a gray knob, a black shiny knob, or yeah, that's what I'm thinking, gray or black, because I just don't like the gold. But yeah, I think it looks nice. Okay, let me show you guys the lamps I was looking at. If y'all don't have a shared note with all your bedroom ideas, I don't know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, so I like to keep a list of the stuff that I knew I wanted. These are the nightstands that I got. It was on my updated bedroom list. So okay, four different, five different 
The table lamps, I'm gonna take you through each one. All right, here is the first lamp. It's a simple black lamp with the pool, uh, the pool, what do you call it? The pool, oh, the pool chain. I thought it was cute, it's simple. With Bob's, the product is no longer available. That's ridiculous. I may try to look and see if they have it under something else on here. Okay, these are probably my favorite. These are these enclosed glass lamps. You can see, I really, really like that. I saw it somewhere. I think it was on Instagram or YouTube and I really liked it. This is basically the same thing, but a little thinner at Overstock. Uh, they're out of stock. This is why it's important to keep up to date with the stuff that you put in your carts. Um, but I think it's so cute. And last but not least, oh, well, Lamps Plus, the ones I were looking at are out of stock, but they have like so many that are similar. That's actually a good price, $139 for two. It's amazing how you can do your hair and it becomes frizzy. Anyway, hello friends, it is another day. I got my second nightstand today and I put it together. It's time to show y'all. All right, y'all, this is what it looks like. Literally identical to the other one. I think I told you guys this, but I want to change these knobs, but I'm not really pressed to do that today. And actually, I did a little DIY work. So insert clip of the scratches. This one, I'm pretty sure it's my fault because I, I looked at the pieces before, but this got really scratched from putting it on the ground. I did have to tilt it. So that's kind of annoying all this like wood dust oh look at that like this is like so different from the other one yep and so i did use the marker and it definitely helped obviously it's not perfect perfect but it doesn't have to be perfect perfect it's funny you actually see it a lot more on camera <laughs> You see it a lot more on camera than you do in real life, but who cares? Nobody's going to be looking that close. But yeah, that is what the nice stand is looking like. Also made some exciting progressions in terms of table lamps, but I'm just going to go get it because it said it's delivered. I haven't gotten a notification from my mailroom yet, but sometimes it's a little delayed or it just never happens. So we're going to go down to the mailroom and get the lamps. Hopefully it's not a heavy packet. Those nice stands were 46 pounds. Y'all, I should be strong AF after this week because I've been doing a lot of lifting. That's probably why I'm so sore. But okay, let's look at the nice dance. I remember I showed you guys some lamps and this is actually not the same lamp, but it is similar to one of the lamp styles. If you guys remember, I was showing you these lamps that had um, like glass and then you can see the black bar. So this is that same style. I think it's gonna be a little smaller and these are these are dimmable. That's what actually made me buy these because I really like the concept of dimming my lights. So, oh, you know what something I just realized? <laughs> I could have just gotten light bulbs. You know how you can get like those Philips or those Alexa light bulbs? And you can actually tell them to dim. Hmm. Well, we'll we'll see. If I don't like them, I can always return it. I am a little worried that these are going to be smaller than I thought, but let's open it and see. Set of two touch control third way dimmable table lamps with fabric shades. And I got the one that is um, white light because I hate like that yellow glit, not glare, but that yellow light that you get with most lamps. It actually like pisses me off. They're, they look like they're a good size. Let's see what they look like. In the reviews, I do remember seeing some comments about the lampshade. I don't remember what they said. Y'all, I was about to be pissed. I don't know if y'all saw that in my face, but I was thinking, why the heck is this light so dim? But I forgot. I forgot that it dims. Cool. So off. One, two. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I need to figure out why the heck this thing is lopsided. But let's set up the other one. But I think it looks so nice. I'll show you guys better once I set up the other one. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh, and there's a two-year warranty, which is nice. Good to know. 
So this is what the nightstands and the lamps are looking like. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I had to do to try and make the shades look not lopsided, but it is not a permanent fix. But yeah, I think it looks nice. I actually like my gold, um, my boyfriend got me some Golden State Warrior coasters. I like how that looks with the like gold um, knobs, but yeah. Again, ignore my wrinkly pillowless bed. I just think it looks really nice. Then over here, I need to get rid of that box. I can probably get rid of that now because it's just hangers in there. And that's my printer and I need to find a place to set that up. But anyway, yeah. And I gotta figure out these cords. But it is slowly coming together. Okay, I had to do whatever it takes for me not to be in the camera because I look crazy, but this is the plan, y'all. It's pretty tall. That is, it's pretty tall. It's, I think it's literally five feet. So time to unwrap it and fluff the feathers. I really hope I like it. I can be really picky about some stuff and I hope I don't have to be really picky when it comes to this. It comes tied in like, I forgot what this is called, but I remember this a lot as a kid. Um, I just wanted to give you a closer look. Okay, I wasn't sure if it came in a planter or not. I still can't tell if this is a... Okay, it came in like a basic black one. I will immediately be buying a real planter, but it's good to see what this is working with at least. Um, now we need to cut everything else off. Beautiful. Oops, all right, put that right there. All of this will be going straight to the trash. Okay, now let's unleaf it. I'm probably gonna do a quick little time lapse of this, but here we go. Okay, um, so I did a little bit of fluffing. I didn't want to do too much because I want to put it in its plate. I want to put it in its place before I do too much because like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to over bend it and realize that I bend it too much. So we're going to get it into place. These got bent in the package. I personally don't care about that too much. But yeah, so this is what it's looking like. So the thing is, I wanted something, I wanted some greenery right here, but I didn't want something that was so big that it was like covering the mirror. And so I was like, I like the palm tree because I think it's tall, it's cute. It's like more full than your average like artificial plant. But yeah, this looks good. Let me fluff it out a little bit more and then come back and show y'all like the final product with this. I need to get a planter ASAP and then I need to take that off. So here's what we're working with. Uh, I feel like it looks better on camera than I feel like it looks in real life. But I feel like I need somebody to shape this for me. like. I will say, I think my shaping has helped a lot, but I don't know, I think it does need to be shaped a little bit more. So this is what it would look like. Let me show you what it would look like if I was like taking a selfie here or something. So I tend to take selfies on Instagram like this. So we have that there. I wanted to put like a little table or something. Like, I don't know, like I, I thought about like a little like black, Think of like a little black circular table, like the size, like a little bit bigger than my hand, like in circumference, right? Like right there. And that would just be like a cute, maybe like a candle. If not, I would probably never light a candle right there because it's too close to there. But I don't know, like, I don't know what I would put there, but I, I don't think I want to put another plant there. That My original plan, like as soon as I got this mirror, was actually to put the plant over here and to put a bookshelf right here, like a really narrow bookshelf, like, Something that's what, maybe six inches, maybe a foot wide, but something really narrow to go right there, which I could still do. I don't know. What do you guys think? Please feel free to leave a comment down below. You guys have been really, really helpful giving me tips and advice, but, and I, I definitely don't want to do two plants. 
like or at least not two green plants if if i were to do another type of like plant nature type thing i would maybe do some type of like floral thing but i just i'm not feeling that i i was liking my idea of a little table hold on i think i can like give you a vibe give me one second now that i put this table here it looks crazy kind of but obviously the table would not be this big it would not be this style but imagine something black and small and it would it would be small like it wouldn't be this far out it would be like in this space so a little small black table here i don't know i'm gonna send this video probably to my mom and see what her thoughts are let's see what it looks like if i put the plant over here how will this empty space look and you know with um amazon they have that view of my room feature so if i find a slender enough bookcase i can do the view my view my room thing and see exactly how it'll look but i originally and like this is the bookcase that i really want i want a ladder bookcase but the ladder bookcases those boys are wide there's no way it would fit in the space so my other option would be i could do it this way but i don't i'm pretty sure you have to bolt sorry i'm pretty sure you have to bolt ladder staircases into the wall and i don't want to put any holes in this like that's not even an option i could always get a regular bookshelf so i could either okay here are my options narrow bookshelf to go this way regular like standard you know like you guys know what a regular bookshelf looks like a regular bookshelf and instead of it being turned towards me i would turn it this way so the books would be like this and then the plant over here okay let me put the plant here and then let's see what that looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like with the plant on this side. Um, I'm not crazy about it. And maybe that just means I need to turn the plant a little bit. I don't really think I'm feeling the plant on this side. Even though I, I really want to feel it on this side. Because I want the bookshelf right here. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you like it on this side or that side? Also, if I did do it like this, do you think a bookshelf would be doing too much? I kind of do feel that way. Um, but let me show you another option. Y'all always have like seven options in my head. But So this is like configuration number two. Configuration number one was with this over here. Now let me show you what else I'm thinking about. This is the current status of my bedroom, right? Like, ignore, this is my headband wrap, but this is what it's looking like. I said, when my boyfriend gets here, maybe I'll do it when my mom gets here. I wanna move my bed over just a little bit more, just the bed and the nightstands, cause I feel like it, it's not gonna be perfectly centered, but I want a little bit more space in that corner. But I was also thinking, what if I put a bookshelf here? Is that weird? Or should I put a plant here? I'll bring the plant in here so you guys can see that. But I really want a bookshelf. So it's like, if I don't put it here, would it be weird if I put it over here? Like, is that a weird place? I feel like it is kind of weird because I feel like it blocks, like, I feel like it blocks the entrance, like having something right there. And also I tend to like film over here sometimes for like fashion stuff. So I kind of like having like a empty wall. I don't know. Then I also thought, well, what if I put a bookshelf right here? But I don't know. It's just, maybe I don't really need a bookshelf. And part of the reason why I'm thinking I may not need a bookshelf is because I do have all of this space underneath here. So I have this side and I have this, but this is not going to have books there. It's going to be cute stuff. And then I also have over here. So I really could just keep all of my books in there. But yeah, would love your opinions on that too. Oh, let me put the plant in here so we can see what that looks like. Because maybe that type of plant works better in here than in the living room. Uh-oh, y'all. I really like the plant in here. I feel like this works so much more than in the living room. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I mean, I like it. And like, imagine, I feel like I could put something down here. Maybe like some smaller plants. I don't know. But I feel like there's some room for opportunity right here and i would put it in just like a regular black planter i wouldn't have it raised or anything like that hmm all right y'all i need y'all to comment down below and help me like you know some youtubers they be like oh help me and they don't they don't actually want your advice i want your advice obviously i'm not going to take everyone's but advice and also if you have any suggestions well no never mind also i could use these shelves which are empty <laughs> i could also put put books in there too i don't know but y'all i'm really liking this I feel like that is so cute. Okay, this is the last update that I have for you guys in this vlog, but 
it is night time and i thought that would be the perfect time to show you guys this sorry if it's a little um grainy but i got this sign in college my senior year from burlington hashtag girl boss even though even though girl boss is like a funny term now, we use it funnily. I want to be a girl boss. I am a girl boss. So I had to put the sign up in my new room. So it's a hot pink neon sign. I think it's so, so cute. Um, obviously, it's not one of the really expensive ones that are like, uh, what is it called? Dry cut to the words. But I like it, especially like when I'm in here in the evening. I think it's a really cute addition. Um, and I want to bring more pink into my room. And I think this is a great way to do so. By the way, I currently have the plant in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I do like the plant vibe in here. But I wanted to show y'all the room right quick. <laughs> See? The pink the pink vibe is nice. Ignore my robe. But yeah. So we still have so much decorating to do in here. In the next like apartment decor vlog, this will probably be our main focus. Um... And I don't know, I don't, we may not ever end up doing anything to this wall. I feel like we should, but what if it really is just my projector wall? I don't know. And then I don't know if we'll ever do anything here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I'm definitely proud of the small changes that I made in this apartment. There's still so much more to do. Like literally today, I'm trying to find some prints. I probably won't end up ordering them, but I like to look at prints to get ideas. And if you guys have any more suggestions or comments or whatever, please let me know down below in the comments. Or if you see something on Instagram, you can DM me at Ariani. Um, I don't really check my DMs that much. Not like I have a lot of followers, but just my Instagram DMs are weird. Like something's wrong with my Instagram account. I don't know what it is. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. There will be another apartment decor video coming. Not soon, like not in the next 30 days, but probably in the next couple of months because i like to put everything together like that video was filmed over like 40 days so yeah but all right y'all bye if you're new to the channel subscribe if you're a returning subscriber i appreciate you and i will see y'all in my next vlog which i think is going to be a good one so bye.